Hello and welcome to my garden. I'm the Herb and Garden Fairy Grandmother and today we're talking more about the common periwinkle. Pliny the Elder, a Roman naturalist and philosopher, wrote that in his time it was widely cultivated as an ornamental plant. In the Middle Ages, periwinkle was often recommended as a treatment for sore throat, nosebleed, and various lung diseases. It was also a common ingredient in many love potions popular at that time. Medieval herbal literature also refers to the herb as a remedy for headache, dizziness, and lapses of memory. Periwinkle has often been linked to magic and superstition. In the past, it was used as a ma powerful magic plant. It was believed that the plant could protect against evil spirits. And in some places, it was thought that witches could not enter a building where per periwinkle hung above the entrance. Periwinkle was also used in certain love rituals. It was thought to increase the passion of those who carried it on their person or when it was placed under the bed. It was also said that by looking at the plant, lost memories could be retrieved. I may try that one day. In France, periwinkle was regarded as a symbol of friendship and was placed in a buttonhole to keep evil spirits away. And in Italy, it was usually associated with death and placed on a grave. Periwinkle is known to have been present in North America as early as the late 1700s. The leaves and the seeds are used in folk medicine. They are rich in the chemical vi vicanin, I can't pronounce that, an alkaloid that has positive effects on memory and has long been used to combat the effects of aging. From the Rx list, it states, despite serious safety concerns, periwinkle is used for brain health, increasing blood circulation in the brain supporting brain metabolism, increasing mental productivity, preventing memory and concentration problems and feebleness, improving memory and thinking ability, and preventing early aging of brain cells. Wow! But remember, before consuming any herb, flower, or vegetable you haven't tried before, do your own research.